Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel, with me is the Wheatley, and we're researching our last topic. I've been sitting here for a few minutes, researching through all the possible topics. Uh, do I get something? Nope, I got something last year. Um, but, yep, we researched for everything. A weasel Stay sold 6.2 million. It's selling still uh, quite well with marketing campaigns. But I think it's time. Uh, actually, let's drag two of them over. Um, you guys can research virtual reality 3D support. While we over here are going to make a new game. Um, at least, yeah, that's a good good plan. Uh, we're gonna take Weasel Stay off the market. Actually, oh man, the game's not running smooth at all. Yeah, let's take it off the market. Man, it made 55 million. Whew. That's crazy. And for two years in sale, uh, we're gonna sell the remainders to... Yeah, distributor. For budget games. And we're gonna start uh, developing a... Maybe a successor. Um, or just a new game. We can go with uh, double A with 20 features. Let's have a quick look at how many features our engine actually has. Real quick, um, by engine. Ours is not in there. The IT trick. Wow, 45%. Wow. Profit share. I should just develop my own engine. And I'm gonna call it uh, Weasel 3D. Super, super creative. It's gonna be optimized for Ego shooters, um, first person shooters, features, oh man, all the features, bam, one million, uh, I think that's enough, it's four, seven, ten, that's eh, plenty, 30 features, wow, and we're gonna sell the engine for 40% uh, profit sharing, no no cost, upfront cost, and we're gonna start developing, Weasel 3D, it's fantastic, oh, you know what, ah, I did I already start it, uh, I'm not gonna get back that money, right? Ah, it's fine, we're gonna develop another one. It's fine if we don't have virtual reality support, but with 30 features, uh, we will definitely do double A games now. Excited! All right, let's grab you and you. So we have a full team here, and we're gonna develop a new game. Right now, we have viruses and sports games. That sounds like a horrible thing. So we have our engine. We're gonna develop a first-person shooter. There we go. And, hmm, what would be a subgenre? A fighting game, hmm, interesting. Nah, we're gonna go with a pure FPS. Uh, random game name, Glockenspiel Hero, I Know Jack, Full Life Free. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Double Life. Double Life. Double life, come on. There you go, fantastic. Uh, with, of course, our new Weasel 3D, which is optimized for that. Game size is going to be double A. Not triple A yet, we're gonna get there. 2.5 million development costs, ah. No problem. Uh, genre, ooh. Currently viruses are in trend. Kinda wanna go for, oh man, I have so much. Uh, kinda wanna go for, mm, um, uh, hmm, aliens and shooters, that sounds cool. I guess viruses, they are in trend, 50 weeks. I think we can develop that in 50 weeks, who knows. Uh, no license, even though we can buy licenses, like Jack Bond, Octofish, the movie. Hmm. That would probably even sell better than before. Ah, it's gonna be fine. Let's go here. It's like platform. We're gonna go for the PC as usual. Uh, the pony station. And what else do I have? I can't buy more dev kits, right? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, 19. The Game Joy has 22. I guess I'm just gonna go for the Game Joy then. And what is the fourth one that has a good sheer? I guess the SMES. That thing should be off the market fairly soon, though. That might be the last one. I'm gonna go for graphics. Uh, a little bit to stay there in the middle. Functions, atmosphere, beginner friendly, more for the core gamers. I like that. More that that's fine. All right, let's buy a new copy production here. Securdisc for sure. And I think yeah, Securdisc for where is it? I could remove up. Oh, just perfect. Did I set it? Yes, I said it. Okay, um, we're just gonna go with the average of 25 for everything. That works out really great. 
That works out really great. I don't have to make up for other stuff. We're gonna go for all languages, obviously. Doesn't make a big difference if it's free five or free five two. Doesn't matter. All right. And 19 out of 20 features. That worked out great. I don't even know why I put these silly features in the engine. Doesn't matter. Start development. And let's go for it. Create a marketing campaign. Choose a game. Double live TV. Yeah, we're gonna push this thing really far. Man, they're developing really fast over here. And I'm just gonna produce from both. Fill this up completely. That's gonna give us two million. And as soon as they're done producing, we're gonna start selling. I'm gonna just keep on producing. That's gonna be great. We're gonna be able to produce everything ourselves. We're gonna make a lot, lot of money. It's gonna be fantastic. TV campaign send off. Create another one. Double live. Noisy Weasel is still selling. It's amazing. I wish the developer would, uh, the, the publisher would take it off the market, but eh. What do I care? Black Knight by Sierra and Games with the Wunderkind engine. All time, 166,000. Got a million last year. Noisy Weasel sold extremely well. Well done. Thank you. It did, didn't it? All right, we're gonna attend with two games. The one that we're currently developing, Noisy Weasel and A Double Life, which we're developing. How many? 100,000? No, not there yet. We got 97. 20,000 fans. Look at that, 200,000 fans. It's amazing. Just those guys alone will probably sell the game for us. Man, I'm pushing this. Uh, Double Life, yeah. Another TV campaign. This thing's gonna sell like butter. Is that a thing you say? I think I asked it already. It's gonna sell like lobster on a hot day. Lo lobster popsicles on a hot day. Mmm. Lobster popsicles. Mmm. All right, where was I? I think I wanna research AAA. Might as well spend some time on that. Oh, the MES will take it in a month in a few mar months. Uh, market in a few months. New. No, it sucks. Because this is gonna take a little bit to develop. We might be able to still s sell a few. If not, that's okay. We still have the biggest platforms with the PC. That's not gonna go away. The PC is a great platform. People said, ah, PC gaming is dead. No, it's not. It won't be. It's actually making a, it made a big comeback. All right, marketing campaign for has been completed. Uh, fantastic. Uh, let's do another. Let's do a quick international game magazine one for Noisy Weasel. Just just for, for, for fun sakes. That sounds good. Oh, they're upset because they want more safety. Oh, I totally did not. I missed that. Here, fire extinguisher. One on the toilet in case it's really burning down there. And one yeah, here. Should make him happier. Yeah, they're, they're 50% slower because of that. There we go. There's a speed that I like to see. Ah, damn it. The SMES is off the market. Ah, what a shame. I mean, we should still sell some stuff. Alright, Noisy Weasel is still on the market. It's crazy. No. Well, I'm not complaining, and we're nearly done with creating this CD quality music. All right, new records for everything. Uh, we're gonna produce this ourselves. It's gonna be great. Uh, I'm gonna set it to 15 weeks. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go with a color manual, a poster, sticker. It's gonna be great, and retail price, we're gonna set that to 22. Yep, nice sales, actually 24. Nice sale in the beginning. Fantastic. All right, let's see. What's all the ratings? Come on, give me 90 across the board. Ah, 88. That's okay. Topic in the trend, sound graphics. Did I? Oh, it's Ego Shooter. Did Topic in the trend, did I select viruses? Ooh, fantastic. Uh, let's go and start producing then. Produce game, 1.14. Um, one, two, three million, and here we're gonna produce. Uh, how much does it fit in there? Seven hundred eighty thousand produce game. Seven hundred and eighty thousand, fantastic. And then we're gonna develop a successor of an earlier game. Man, the first game, Quest for Pickles. Glorious game. What was the first real? Oh, Weasel. We'll say we just did one that was Weasel's Knight or something. Zeppelin Fighter. Yeah, Weasel's Knight, that's sold well. 
Did I do another that's called Weasel's Night? No, noise Weasel Stay. Oh, I had one that's called Weasel Stay. Then I made a sequel that's called Weasel's Night, and then another one that's called Weasel's Day. I'm smart. All right, the parrot scroll. We're gonna go with the parakeet scroll. It's an RPG adventure, game size. It's gonna be double A again. We're gonna go with our Weasel 3D engine. Actually, we could select the license, the noisy man. Wait, we have that license, right. Is there something in there? Movie, 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 movie. The Godmother. That sounds cool. Eh, screw it. No, no license. We're gonna make our own IP. Uh, next. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, pirates. That's fine. Select the platform. We're gonna go for the ZPC. Yeah! Game Joy, PlayStation, or Game Station, and. Is there another cool game kit out there? I kinda wanna develop for the Ziga Dreamcast. Hmm, or the, you know, the N63 would be a good choice. Let's push that a little bit. And story, gameplay, atmosphere, game, uh, let's go beginner friendly and casual gamer. That's fine. All right. I'm just gonna go with the 25, 25, 25. Maybe even ramp up sound a little bit. Well, I like this, let's just play around with this a little bit. And of course, all the features. Let's go and develop while we create a marketing campaign for... What is it called? Double Life again. Yes, Double Life. While this is still being produced. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Wet Dog Entertainment and Double Life actually already got Game of the Year. It's not even selling, but it's that good. All right. So, yeah, we're filling this up. Very good. Still have 12 weeks. Gonna need a lot of weeks to fill us all up properly. Oh, this is expensive. Look at the numbers dwindle up there. I wish I could sell, a, set it, change the release date. Um, I do can, I think I can look, yes. I can extend that. Someone told me, and I never did. Uh, all right, internet multiplayer. Yay, and the Pony Game Station too soon. All right, let's search, research that. Uh, double life. Oh, it doesn't tell me. I just see it for my own, apparently. Or can I can only expand one. Nope, I can expand as much as I like. Oh, this is not selling yet, right. Alright, the Wunderkind engine actually brought me in 1.25 million from another developer. Oh, this is ha handy. Why did I not know about that? Alright, we're selling. Stock orders. Oh, it tells me orders! Alright, let's produce the game. Let's produce the same amount again. Produce game. And 1.14 millions or something. All right. All right, we have plenty of stock. Uh, I hope we're selling enough. Another 750,000, that's exciting. Create another marketing campaign for Double Life TV. Let's throw another one at it. Really go at it. I hope we're gonna sell like 4 million, that would be great. Surreal 3D. Alright, the company Pony has announced a Pony Game Station. I'm ex intrigued. We're gonna go for that, I think. The PlayStation 2. Oh, are you kidding me? It's already going down in sales. This is not good. Alright, let's... Oh, um, we're still developing the Parakeet Scroll. I might want to go for an update. New game engine was released. I don't care about the Tri Engine. <laughs> it's 1999. Uh, we're gonna go for a nice large booth for free games. It's Noisy Weasel, which is still on the market. See, it's still selling. Uh, Double Life, and of course, the new one, the Parakeet Scroll. Yes. Whew. Look at that, 200,000 visitors on that booth, giving us effective 40,000 fans. Do we have something? Oh, yeah, right, I should maybe do something for a, a, a fan campaign, like, uh, you know, the Game Fair again. It's gonna make our fans happy and Oh, Druid of Sunshine gave us another million. We're doing really well here. All right, TV campaign. I hope that helps a little bit. It pushes it a little bit above it, but not too much. All right, I, I like that these are waiting until this is filled up, so... I'm gonna stop production now. I'm just gonna let that sell out. We might have overproduced here a little bit. Yeah, we overproduced. 
we clearly... Nosy Weasel, Noisy Weasel, not Nosy. Noisy Weasel, 33 million, nice! Very nice, Aziga will take off the Ziga Mercure soon. Let's create a marketing campaign for the Parakeet Scroll again. Fantastic. Um, we're gonna find a publisher for that though. Uh, RPG Adventure, let's see. I know the, the, the income is not that high, but I still have to sell these. <sighs> market strength, market strength. I kinda wanna go for a high market strength. RPG Adventure. Who's the only guy? There, there should be one guy with RPG in here. I saw them in the beginning, no. Kinda blind. Arcade, third person, jump and run. RPG, okay. Five dollars. Uh, it's not very convincing, especially if you only have uh, two market strength. Seven dollars. I would love a few more dollars here, my friend. <sighs> All right, let's go with Enix. They are with RPGs, that's fine. If we're selling more because of that, that's cool. Didn't take us too long. What's gonna be? It's going to be not... It's going to be a 90. Actually, this actually gave us a 90. Look at the graphics there. Very cool. Whew. Yeah, this is gonna sell just fine. Yeah, we're just gonna keep selling this for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna keep developing uh, another game, maybe, or a successor. Let's see, what else could we do? Elementary school story was interesting. Oh yeah, I remember, Mad Game Star. Well, that's from 1993, so seven years. I think that's more than enough time to develop a sequel. Oh, don't don't change the genre, are you kidding me? Uh, with the Weasel 3D engine. Double A game size. That's how we like it. And it's gonna, just gonna be Mad Games R2. For ZPC, ah, the game station. Isn't the game station 2 out yet? It might be. Uh, buy Def Kid to Game Station 2. 7.9. Yeah, let's 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 develop for that. For both several generations. Very good. Alright. Game dev for gamer. I'm just gonna put it in the middle because I'm not sure where I need to put this. So alright, 25, 25, 25. Let's start development of that one. While over here we're gonna just research internet multiplayer. We're gonna do an MMO. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. We're gonna need server rooms for that, so uh, we will definitely go for the biggest room. Didn't think I would need that, but I do. All right, Weasel 3D, a million, the Towers Man 2. All right, I like this. We did the marketing campaign for this. Very good. Better do another one for Mad Games. Are right, we're gonna sell it ourselves? Hopefully, this is time it's gonna go better. Another million. It's just bringing in million after million. Right, the Ziga Mercur is off the market. Stern Defender, and we got Wet Dog Entertainment and Parakeet Scroll for Game of the Year. Yeah, at this point we're just good. Let's have a look at the all-time charts. Ah, uh, all us, all us. <laughs> yes, Weasel Stay sold exceptionally well. And the Paracrete Scroll is already at 3.5 million. That's crazy. It's doing really well. Alright, the Xbox 360. Uh, the Xbox is going to be on the market soon, not the 360. It would be a little bit early for that. Alright, that thing is at 50%. So we can still properly sell stuff here. Video cutscenes. The, the, the Play Cube. I should be able to even add more platforms, but that would probably be insane in terms of income here. Now I can develop MMOs, the server room is now available, there you can deploy your server for your MMOs. Very cool, very cool indeed. Alright, Parakeet Scroll, man, that's a success story right there. 18 million. Well... That's... it's never gonna stop. Okay, I think we can, we can, we can safely say that we can take double life off the market. It's not gonna make us a whole lot of money, yes. Uh, it made us 13 million, so I'll take that, but we're gonna sell the remainders, 1.5 million, to a distributor. That's okay, getting back a little bit of money. Probably did not make a whole lot of win on that. That's okay. Escape from the moon with the Weasel 3D engine. It didn't sell too well, did it? 
right. You know what we're gonna do? I think I'm gonna remove one of the rooms. <sighs> Which one though? A server room. I would love to have a server room. Right. Let's see. Let's try something. Customer support. I'm gonna put a small little room over here. Except. Right. We're gonna put those desks in here. Two desks. We're oh yeah. We're gonna tent with a middle booth. It's gonna be a parakeet scroll and a mad game star too. How many? Twenty-one thousand extra fans. I like this. Man, so many fans. It's crazy. I have thirty thousand. <laughs> Probably not fans. Just subscribers. All right. Let's put you over here. That's totally fine. I'm gonna put the rest of you to research. Where's you, Dean Francis? Yes. And we're gonna remove this room. It's gonna be great. Cancel the fan campaign and remove the room. Yes. And we're gonna kick off another fan campaign. A game fair. And should be able to build a server room right over here. Except player capacity. Okay. Where are the servers? I think I saw them somewhere. Server room, yes. The twin server of capacity 160,000. Cost 250,000 to buy. Screw it. Let's buy all of them. Never stop believing. Since they don't have a monthly cost, I'm just gonna fill up this room with this. I'm just gonna completely fill up the room with that stuff. Oh man. Fantastic. Alright, we still have nice production capacity here. Uh, I am considering restructuring this a little bit. Room, maybe removing this room and putting one big room here for storage. And it's gonna be okay. But we're not using tr the training room as much as I like. It would probably make sense to get started with that soon. Mad Game Czar has a new record in gameplay. I'm gonna find a publisher. Oh, you know, we're gonna produce it ourselves this time. Uh, we're gonna go with 10 weeks. 10 weeks should be plenty. Uh, we're gonna go with color manual, shirts. Oh, I didn't sell that much because I set the retail price to insane levels. Let's go with $20. Uh, balloons, uh, pen, no, poster. I like that combination, it's great. I think a t-shirt is overkill. Just saying, ah, let's put a t-shirt in. Screw it, t-shirt. All right. What are the scores? The scores are phenomenal. 90, wow, 96. I think that's the best score I had so far. Let's go and produce 5 million off the game. That's quite right. Is that 50 million? That is 50 million. Just never stop producing, I say. Produce the game. And let's produce maybe your five million. Got a little bit easier. Right, you, on the other hand, you're gonna develop a new engine. Um, we need to research additional features though. And we could develop a game update for maybe the parakeet scroll. Here you go. Maybe gonna sell a few extras. 5.6 million already. That update is probably gonna help, let's see. Yeah, it spikes it a little bit. Um, let's develop another one. I'm just curious what happens. New graphics, new sounds, new levels. It's 1.4 million to develop, but it might... Man, we're developing this stuff fast. Well, it keeps it alive. It's actually going up again. Very exciting. Let's create a marketing campaign for Met Games R. While that is still in production, but it's gonna go out in a week. And prepare your storage for mad sales. <sighs> yes. 400,000 in the first week, 700,000 in the other week. I can't keep up. I'm totally flabbergasted. I can't sell enough. That's crazy. Yeah. We can't keep up with that. We're just selling insane amounts of monies. Uh, develop a game update for Mad Game Czar. Why not? Let's go crazy. Yeah, here's a problem. We're just we're just limited by the amount we're producing. We we only can sell 130,000, which is a shame. Would have loved to be able to sell more. I can set the pricing though for this thing. If I set this to 24, it's gonna go down in terms of sales. All right, game of the year, Mid Game Zara. We're talking to Tim. We're just getting one after the other. 
All right, look at all the monies. 40 million already made. No regrets. Uh, let's go and research video cutscenes. And then we're going to research a new engine. Actually, already another one. Um, marketing campaign for... The Mad Games are. Why not? Let's create another one, TV. Yeah, I mean, we're still selling. There's still demand. Order 7,000. All right, I think we're finally catching up. So I can set the price back down to, let's say, 20. Which should ramp up the sales again. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we made 5 million with this, so this is cool. Uh, let's stop production for now. Let's stop production for now. Yo, you know what? I should probably produce a little bit more. Let's go with 1 million. Uh, yep. Let's produce a million. That's fine. And develop a game update. Just gonna throw in everything. We made so much money with this. This doesn't hurt us at all. And a new marketing campaign for... I wonder if I can just sell more of the parakeet scroll, honestly. Right, that update doesn't push too much. Oh, there's the sales again. Yeah, it can give it new life, which is fantastic. Right, force feedback. Let's research that as well while we're at it. Our servers are a capacity of 3.8 million. Nakin engine 800,000. Right, looks good. I think, yeah, Mad Games R was still a success. We definitely would have needed more in stock. Definitely need to wait longer next time. And we're gonna go on a middle boo for two games, because we're gonna have to. And we're getting eh, more fans. Oh, they're not happy. Why are they not happy? I'm doing a game fair. Do I really need more staff? Really? I don't want to spend more. Eh, whatever. All right. Still selling. I'll eventually take it off the market. But for now, when this thing is done and researching, we're going to start a new engine and we're going to develop our first MMO in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please have a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out now. Just see you around. Bye bye.